Oh, there's more cats. Oh. Hi, welcome back to day 8 of my Japan vlogs. We start our day with Fushimi and Ari Taisha to take some nice photos without anyone in the early morning. Then we made our way to Kyoto Station where we took a train to Osaka. And lastly we visited Osaka Castle and had some okonomiyaki to wrap up the day. Good morning! Good morning. It's like 6am right now. Yep. Uh, we're trying to go back to Fushimi Inari mm -hmm. to uh, get some photos with yeah. no tourists in it so hopefully we'll be able to um, I think we will. yeah it's only six o'clock we'll get there by 6 30 so I don't think there will be that many tourists I mean even if there are a few people I think we'll be able to get some yeah yeah, I brought my tripod so I'll be able to uh, um, get some photos without anyone there. Yeah. So keep Let's you posted. It. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We, uh, we made it to the, um, we just got off the bus station and just made it, but there's surprisingly more tourists than we expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, hopefully we'll be able to take some photos with no people in it. ahead of the other tourists. Hopefully we'll find a good space. Mm -hmm. yeah. It'll be okay if it's gotta be a little fish. Yeah. We finally made it to a spot near the start of the hike with not a lot of people. We took tons of pictures and enjoyed the calmness and beauty of all the Tory gates. So, we, it was a success, taking pictures. On our way back down, we stumbled upon a very friendly shrine kitty. So we found a stray kitty. The stray kitty was meowing at Lauren, asking for pets, but all Lauren did was take pictures. And now the little kitty is getting affection from a different stranger. But I'll put the kitty. All the way over there. What if it's his cat? Or is the cat just friendly? I think the cat's just friendly. Well, you lost your chance. No, I didn't know it was my chance. <laughs> I didn't. No one had pet the cat yet. I didn't know how friendly the cat was. The dude pet the cat. Did you not see it? No. Oh my gosh. Well, just wait a minute. Maybe we'll get another chance. Okay. I'm on a mission to get the cat's approval or pet the cat again. So, uh. 
The cat's following the other stranger. I'm pretty sure it's a stray cat and not his cat. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. oh, there's more cats. Yeah, they're all wet because they're tr stray cats. Lauren, you get your cat fix. I did. You finally then, petted your cat. The cat didn't really like me, but <laughs> I got to pet it a little bit, and then it had two friends that came. There were three cats. Yeah. They were all very cute, but very wet, and I got a lot of fur on my hands. Yeah. They're just the shrine cats. I think they live around here. Yeah. I don't think it was that guy's cat, but he definitely like pets them frequently or feeds them frequently. They must be like, they must live here. Yeah. 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 We're gonna go get Ricky. Yeah. yeah. The original cat's like, fuck you, Lauren. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't pet me the first time. You don't get to take backsies. He just knows that guy. He doesn't know me. I have lots of love and affection for the cat. Yeah. That's okay. Her. The, the cat's other two friends came, and uh, Lauren got her cat fix. Yeah. They so we are good. <laughs> yeah. After that, we made our way back to the train station. Here, I pointed out to Lauren that Osaka has a very unique train platform gate. Wow, see? It lifts up. Do you see that? We finally made it back to Kyoto Station. Before Mika and Ian left for Tokyo, here we had to buy the special 551 Horaiba, which was unique to the Kansai region. After shopping for our Ekibentos, sadly, it was time to part ways with Mika and Ian. While we made our way to Osaka, they headed back to Tokyo. They were lucky enough to see Mount Fuji from the Shinkansen, and they visited several places around Tokyo before they headed back to the US. On the other side of Japan, Laura and I have made it to Osaka. Good afternoon. We made it into Osaka. Our first thing to do today is uh, visit Osaka Castle. One thing I noticed about Osaka over Kyoto and Tokyo is there a ton of stairs. Yeah. I've walked like 10 stories worth of stairs already. And we're about to embark on more, more stairs. Okay, so we're just taking a break. Uh, my legs are kind of hurting, but I, I have two observations here. The school uniform here are white colored, um, and I just saw my first cosplayer in Japan. Um, they're not any nearby right now, but wow. There might be an event, so let's see if we can spot any more cosplayers. I think we've around. seen like three. Yeah, we've seen like three. And then, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. 
On our way to the castle, at the center of the square right outside Osaka Jo Hall, there was some sort of big gift or craft exchange between Japanese girls. Okay, so we think it's some sort of uh, exchange event yeah, like for like cards or like anime stuff. This is strawberry prints. Yeah. I know it says exchange for the kanji for sure, but I just don't know like... I just don't know enough Japanese to like actually ask them. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you exchanging? Like, are they self-made or is it like Pokemon cards or... You know. Some of them look homemade, but I don't know how so many of them could make all of that. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, anyways, to Osaka Castle we go. So we walked up on a baseball game here. Then they're doing a speech. Wow. After a 10-15 minute walk from the square, we made it to Osaka Castle. Interestingly, at the entrance of the castle, there were several exotic pet owners showing off their raptors and reptiles to the bystanders walking to the castle. Thank you. 
in the courtyard, we stumbled upon a very talented musician who was able to play several different instruments all at once. He was able to play the wind instrument non-stop, and Lauren suspects that he was using some sort of circular breathing technique to do so. Okay, update. Uh, we finally made it to Osaka Castle. There's a lot of people here in the courtyard. Have we seen several doggos? Yeah. Like that cute one over there, look at it. Yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah. Okay. Cute doggo. Anyways. Uh, we're both uh, pretty tired. We got up early. Yeah, we got up pretty early. I feel like all the walking to do Fushimi and Ari. Yeah, my feet hurts like crazy. It doesn't hurt like the day it did in Nara, but it's still up there. I feel like. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna check into our hostel at 3. It's currently 2.47. And just rest up for tomorrow for USJ. Yep, we gotta get there early. Yeah. And it's gonna be a full day. Yeah, We're I gonna think be there all day. We have to. I think that's our biggest priority is to rest up for tomorrow because yeah. we paid a lot for the tickets and yeah. we don't want to be like gassed mm -hmm. getting there even yeah. though yeah we should just go back and rest and then we can just get dinner there like walk get familiar with the area tonight and not go out too far yeah i think that's something yeah i agree and we're right by the food street anyway yeah, so it's, it, really it's good pretty food. easy for us to look for food yeah the lodging itself doesn't look quite as nice as the other two we've oh yeah so it's far. definitely not as nice yeah but the location is like right in the middle of it so that's mm -hmm. that's why I picked it. Um, yeah. So we can go to Namba and Jotun Bori every night for dinner. Yep, I agree. Well, anyways, we'll sign out a little because we're just gonna go rest for now. Bye bye. bye. Okay, so Lauren's uh, Lauren's navigating yep. us back to the hostel. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you posted if, if we ever get to our hostel tonight. We will. We've just been stopping every five minutes. Okay. Anyway, she doesn't have the best track record when it goes to navigating. No, we're gonna but... get there. I just want to actually get there. Okay. <laughs> it's taken us thirty minutes to walk like seven. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I just want to go. Okay, I want to go rest too. Yeah. I'll keep you posted if we ever get there. <laughs> We're gonna get there. <laughs> it's not that hard. Okay. We'll get there. Okay. I just want to go rest. Okay. Three. Let me look again. Okay, look again. It looks like we are slightly lost. We're not lost. We're not lost? Okay. She thinks we're not lost, but I think we might be a little lost. We're not lost, huh? Okay. Okay. We are not lost. Okay, this is, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll keep you posted if we ever get there. We will get there. Uh huh. I'm doing just fine. Yeah, she's doing great. We might not sleep tonight, but it's fine. No. We'll sleep. <laughs>
We're almost there. Okay. Two steps. Two steps. Two steps. Plan. Then I'm just gonna go to the first exit. First exit? Yeah, whatever okay. exit I can find. Okay. Update, so... I know where we are. We're gonna see if Lauren can, uh, can get us back. We're literally back. Yeah? Right over here. <laughs> okay, good job. I was gonna say, we were right around the corner. <laughs> what? Uh, this is work. this is your adventure. I'm, I'm following you. <laughs> I'm gonna check into our small room with no windows. Oh my goodness! I can't wait. But it was cheap. It was cheap. Not as cheap as that Airbnb. I don't know why that was so cheap. Yeah. Is this I a don't know. Elevator? Are you on the third floor? Maybe. Let's see. We're on the fourth floor. I thought it was the fourth floor. It's on the third floor. Okay. This this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is definitely. I I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. We're supposed to be working together. I know. I'm working together. I told you it's the third floor. See. Where's your big suitcase? Um, not here. But I guess we'll find out. Where's your other suitcase? Yeah, where's our other suitcase? Yeah, where's your backpack? Oh, yeah. Your backpack's right. here. Mm, the important, the we'll important one is there. Fortunately, our luggage was safe, and the receptionist brought it into our rooms before we arrived. After that, we took a nap for an hour and rested a little before we went back out to Namba Street to get some dinner. On this night, we decided to try the local yakisoba and okonomiyaki. It was incredible to watch the chefs cook the food live while we were waiting. It definitely increased our appetite to order more food than we can handle. After that scrumptious meal, that wraps up day 8 of our Japan adventure.